the Spice King. I'm the Spice King. Yeah, yeah. I'm the Spice King. This show is for all the snackers. All the snackers. All the big snackers. All the big snackers. This show is for you, baby. Yeah. guys it's the spice king keep the red i'm out here in pattaya thailand and i'm going to take you on an extravaganza we're going to go to the three mermaids restaurants the most beautiful restaurant in all of pattaya and by the way you see i got a fresh cut fresh fit fresh jewels let's go baby Hey, we made it guys. And now allow me to introduce you to the three memories, but here's Fido. We have lots of great desserts, chocolate torts, pastries. That looks so good. Look at the decor. Out, you can always get a three mermaids cupcake. So what's cool about this place is they all of the tables look like birds' nests. So you can come here and even up top here you can also sit. And such a magnificent view with the live music. This is a, a deep fried sea bass with three different sauces on it. And I got a Thai vegetable fried rice. Thank you so much. The rice looks nice and hot and soft. And it's good. Each rice grain is perfectly cooked. I can taste the flavors of the wok, the soy sauce, the fish sauce, the garlic. Mm. It's time to dig into one of these succulent pieces of sea bass. It has a very nice rice flour coating, very crispy, and the sauce is sweet, tangy, and spicy. Made with soy, garlic, ginger. You can taste the flavors of the, the onions and the peppers cooked into the sauce. And the fish is immaculately fresh. Look at all that sauce at the bottom. Mm. All in all, I think this fish was very well executed. I'm in love with this sauce. Perfection, so good. The rice was all right, just all right. I take back my grand rating. It's okay. What could have made it better? There's more flavor, more garlic, more soy sauce, more MSG, you know, some scallions. That would really made it pop. Well, folks, all in all, I give this beautiful restaurant with the majestic sea views and the beautiful statues the nests that people can sit in, the customer service. I say all, all around, this experience has been grand. The fish, phenomenal. There's nothing left. It was sweet and spicy and crispy and tasty. The rice was mid and the iced coffee was pretty damn mid, but it's all good. But we're not done yet. Let's go get some dessert. So you know, we had a good meal, it was grand. Now it's time for a little bit of dessert at the Chocolate Factory. And I'm not talking about R. Kelly. This is a dessert space. Come on, let's take it, check it out. Wow, so this is the real Chocolate Factory. And you don't have to go to jail by being here. Cakes. Can we sit down? Yeah. Yes, we can. Beautiful. This is good. Wow, 
Oh, this is this is beautiful, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is gorgeous. Look at this view. This breeze is just epic. I really enjoying it. It feels so great out here. Let's get our dessert on. Wow, you guys. Sometimes the most beautiful places, like Three Mermaids, are not the best choice. I'm looking at this menu, and look at all of the chocolates, the pizza. Now these look like some real coffee drink. That coffee I had at Three Mermaids was mid. But this chocolate frappe with the matcha, they got all kind of good options here. Look at this iced banana feed, which is with coffee and bananas. Some of my favorite combinations. Mm -mm -mm. Fresh fruit drinks. And then look at all the desserts. Like, look at this. The chocolate dome with the molten chocolate. They got molten lava cakes, iced cakes, sundaes, honey toast. And their menu options look phenomenal. Like, look at these nachos here. Look at that truffle soup. Well, you know what? After I finish digesting the food from Three Mermaids, I'm gonna have to order some of this. These entrees will either come back here because this really looks phenomenal. The braised lamb ragu, yes, y'all. Too bad I'm already full, but I'm definitely coming back here. That looks phenomenal. Now this is special. This is really special. Why did we go to the other place again? Uh, three mermaids, like, sometimes again, it's not about the beauty, it's about the quality. And this right here looks like something nice. I ordered a chocolate molten lava cake. And on top, this looks like a nice raspberry sauce. And I'm gonna drizzle some of this raspberry sauce right on top of the ice cream like that. And just a little bit on top of my chocolate molten cake. And then let's dig in deep, y'all. Can y'all see as I'm going down deep? Ooh, look how soft it is. Wow. Look how soft. Damn. That is a chocolate molten lava cake. The chocolate is rich and chocolatey. Grand, phenomenal. Mm. This raspberry sauce has bits of dried raspberries in it with the fresh raspberry puree. And it gives you a nice chew, a nice texture. Amazing, y'all. Really great. Just showing some great experiences, eating some great chocolate. That's right. And meeting some great people. So let's let's get into this. This is the dome of chocolate, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh look how it just melts. Wow. wow. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Wow. Oh, what's oh I smell the chocolate from here. What's in the dome? Wow. Let me get some of this melted chocolate. Ooh. <laughs> what is that? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yo, that chocolate is so rich. Yes, it is. <laughs> rich. It just tastes different. This is like some kind of cream cheese mousse. When you grab it with the with the molten chocolate like this, and those buttery cookie crumbs. God damn. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, you got a good piece of that. See all that chocolate? <laughs> Y'all, look at me, man. I'm so ghetto. I'm over here scraping the plates. Mm. I got to get every last drop. Spoon drop. Mm. Great, job. This is another episode of Spice King Eats. This overall rating is grand. Phenomenal. You want a great dessert? Come to Chocolate Factory. And check out their menu too. It looks really great. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. See you on the next episode. Really good. Looking good. I'm looking good, y'all.